All right, California businesses fuel an economy that ranks top 10 in the world, but are we ready for a major disaster in well, Sacramento? Yeah, that's a good question. A West Sacramento company leads the way with disaster cleanup, having gone to Louisiana after Katrina, and now wants to help businesses here prepare for a possible disaster. Leo Grover with Pinnacle Management joins us live now. And uh, what, what, what uh, makes you think that Sacramento is so unprepared? Well, um, according to SafeGut, we're the second most vulnerable area in the United States for flooding. Uh, we only have an 85-year to possibly 100-year flood protection. So, um, and this is a, a brief little scenario of the possibility of what could happen. This is a photo of New Orleans and the levee breaking. That's downtown, or that's uh, Natomas right there. And this next picture shows it underwater. And wow. these, are, these are photographs that are taken from uh, a replica of what would happen from the Army Corps of Engineers. So this, they're the ones who developed this. And Cody lives in Natomas. Cody, I think I just saw your house. I, yeah. I think so, too. <laughs> and, you know, when Katrina happened, uh, a lot of folks across the country said, well, that could never happen here. And uh, I ran around like a chicken with my head cut off in my, my area saying, you know what? Yes, it could happen right. here. Uh, and I don't think we're prepared either, quite honestly. Uh, so what could we do to prepare for a disaster like that? Well, I think they're doing quite a bit with millions of dollars going into the levy um, build up and, and securing the levees but one thing that we are the the center of California and California fuels a massive economy and one thing that we have to do is economically we have to make sure that our businesses and our the property managers of residences and the vulnerable the sick the elderly and the poor have a plan in working Katrina um, so many of the first responders had different types of communication that they had by spray painting on their doors. Right. And um, it, it, there's so many things that we can do to prepare. One is putting a good, um, at least preparedness plan together for the homeowners associations, for hospitals, and they already have quite a bit in place, but they right. need to know quite a bit more. All right. well, like you were saying, they were marking the doors. I've seen some plans where people were saying, you know, like, a, like something to, to put like a door hanger on there saying, hey, everybody's outside of this house, you don't have to check this. Um, uh, what about an, an evacuation plan? That's what I've been uh, curious about, because if you live in the south, they have hurricane plans, how to get out, what roads you should take. Uh, oh, you got one of the things right there, the safely out uh, uh, bags right there that you're talking about. Yeah, safely out is a, uh, you know, I've always wanted to give back. I've worked the worst disasters. I've worked 9-11. Uh, I was in Manhattan for quite a while. I've worked ca Katrina. Uh, Bay St. Louis is where the eye of the storm hit. Mm. And a lot of the times our companies are called in from all over the nation to respond. And that's what I don't want to happen here. We have such a great group of restoration contractors locally and Sacramento is a great city to to insulate ourselves instead of right. calling in numerous companies from out of state um, so safely out actually prepares the the vulnerable ahead of time this is a phenomenal step and I'm a huge supporter of this and not just by words but by dollars I have a our company's donated uh, over $25,000 to getting these packets into the hands right. of vulnerable. Uh, it's good never to get early to be prepared. Uh, Leo Grover's with Pinnacle Management. Uh, thanks, uh, Leo. Appreciate it. By the way, we want to let you folks at home know that uh, Leo was fronting a Prepare Sacramento Disaster Preparedness Seminar. That's going to be a week from today, Thursday, March 29th, and it will run from 745 to 11 a.m. at Arco Arena. Admission is free. It's something that everybody needs to uh, think about, especially if you have a business here in Sacramento. And, uh, you know, like he said, obviously the first response would be to get people out, make sure people are safe. Right. But then you got to keep the system running as best as you can and keep the, the infrastructure and some of the businesses running. And so that's really what he's talking about. So it's a great idea. Well, we're heading to the track this week.